Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your June 2022 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Aquarius. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Tell you what resonates with you as always Aquarius. So we start with the Eight of Pentacles, Productive Energy. General energy is we have Temperance, the Moon, the Hierophant, Major Arcanas here, and we have the Page of Wands. Okay, let's see what else we get for you. Let's have a look at love, romance, relationships and money and career. Thank you. And anything else that comes out, we will go through. Okay, what do we have? We have the hanged man. With the eight, sorry, the ace of wands. Let's see what we have in money, career, finances. What do we have for Aquarius, please? June 2022. So we have the ace of cups, two aces in your reading and all this major arcana. Oh my goodness, Aquarius. <laughs> We've got the Ace of Swords there. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Ten of Cups. My happy family, happy home, happy relationship. Can they even be you on your own? It's an energy where you feel satisfied. Everything has just come to a point where you're satisfied, content, uplifted, not wanting for anything, harmonious. It just feels that kind of energy. Okay, so it's certainly something, it feels in this energy, something that in money career it would be something affecting your relationship or your home, your family in some way, shape or form. Let's pull you an angel answer card. What do we have for Aquarius, please? We have reconsider. Love, romance, relationships. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Message for Aquarius. We have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Let's do money career finances what do we have for Aquarius thank you two aces in your reading and the ten of cups is a lovely energy we have do the work my goodness with this card which is called generally the hard work card you know somebody nose to the grindstone day in day out hard hard work so there is a feeling of rewardedness with this because you do have like three aces in your reading. We have, it's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Okay, Aquarius. I mean, let's have a look at money areas first, because this just feels, and I feel the cards are relating to each other, so I'm going to read the whole thing in whatever messages I get here. 
because it feels with all these major arcana and aces they're all kind of like interconnected in some way and it might well be for some of you that the eight of pentacles work is dominating you this month what you're working towards what you're putting your heart and soul in could be in terms of bringing positive change and outcomes in your money career finances this is an energy of being exceptionally productive what you're doing you're doing very very well whether you're working towards getting employment or working towards bringing greater change in money career finances your way it feels the energy of you're just really 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 very very productive indeed this is an energy of really building something uh, and it feels to get greater stability and security and success in your life through sheer hard work and effort. This can also be Aquarius um, if you are I want to say an doing an internship or an or apprenticeship where you're wanting to prove yourself here um, really working hard to prove yourself with a view obviously to be made permanent um, or to get the the next level up role it might well be for some of you it's that kind of energy um, it's your hard work paying off getting the recognition that you deserve because the hard work is paying off this can be a great energy also if you are got a temporary job and you're working hard again to prove yourself it might well be for some of you that you get the reward that you deserve in the sense of an offer yeah and this consider reconsider or considering energy i feel that it's just a considering energy going on around you Con someone's considering something it doesn't quite feel it feels about you not you yourself we have temperance, just patience. There's patience and having faith, higher power at work here. But there's a strong energy here, Aquarius, of just going with the flow. Um, temperance is just everything in moderation, not allowing yourself to be drawn one way or another emotionally, energetically, but just really working through a situation to really find a way through your situation to really find the flow here it feels in this energy just patience and have faith is what i'm getting here but it's it's spirit telling you you know you've been patient you've been really working hard and there's an energy here of of something coming in where you've been wait that you've been waiting for it feels that kind of energy because the moon is the energy of lack of clarity, uncertainty, um, sometimes fear factor as well. Uh, but it feels in this energy, you just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. And it's to do with, I feel in this energy, a new beginning. A new beginning. And um, the page of wands is very good in terms of good news to do with an opportunity. This is an energy of, I don't know if there's I'm going to get the news on this or not or I'm waiting to get back get the news on this or hear about this opportunity or hear if this is going to happen and it's something that you've been putting time and energy into or towards yeah it's just all this kind of just still energy a lot of the cards are just still and surrender and waiting but it does feel here that waiting is going to pay off. The hanged man energy in the Ace of Wands, waiting for the opportunity, what this Ace of Wands is, Page of Wands is bringing in. We have the Ace of Wands. So this is an energy here that there is an offer coming your way. Now, the hanged man energy is where you're, you're waiting, waiting for things to play out, waiting for things to fall into place. I'm getting it. it you know, we can be in hanged man energies for a number of reasons. It could just be circumstances are beyond our control and we just have to wait, wait and sit it out and see how something plays out here. For, the, for others of you, it could well be, you know, sometimes we can be in hanged man energy in terms of health areas, health reasons where we're stuck and then 
you know, work really hard to get back on track. You know, for others of you, it might well be the case that other circumstances, you know, other circumstances where you've just had to wait, bide your time, that kind of energy. But it feels, I mean, with the three aces in your reading, and the Ace of Cups is linked to your emotions and joy. It's the Cup of Joy. So a new beginning gifted to you by Spirit God, the universe, with the Ace of Sword, the clarity that you've been waiting for. This is epiphany, but it's the energy of breakthroughs, victory and success. It just feels as all this waiting that's been happening. And then all of a sudden in your money, career, finances, it feels there's uplifting new beginning where there's some kind of breakthrough it might well be you're getting the decision you're getting the clarity that you've been waiting for you've been getting the response or feedback or communication and it's victorious it's a card of success victory deserved as well um so there's a strong energy here with the ten of cups aquarius the energy of happy home happy family um this feeling of joy and uplifting energy because there's a strong indication here that there's something coming in that you've been working towards now equally this could be to do with things like moving or relocating wondering if you're going to be successful it could be other areas of your life if you've been working towards something this can be the energy but the message remains the same in the sense that this beautiful new beginning three aces is opening up for you. It's just such a lovely energy. So for some of you, if it's to do with the relationship itself, it's an energy here of, of you might have been considering here, um, because this is an energy of working towards something and feeling pretty positive in terms of how it's going is what I'm getting. Somebody who's putting time and effort into something and is feeling that it's going in the right direction is what I'm getting here. And again, this energy of do the work. And again, this is home, family, relationships, will be long-term relationships or marriage. The Hierophant and Temperance is really about considering, I feel in this energy, for some of you it could be to do with marriage, um, cementing long-term committed relationships, that kind of energy, deepening a relationship and being ready. But this is an energy here of fear, maybe fear, uncertainty, lack of clarity and whether you give it a go or not. It feels that kind of energy here. Um, could also involve children, but you know, that sometimes there's a fear factor. Sometimes the moon can represent subconscious energy as well. Subconscious factors, our history, how our history shapes us. You know, we have the conscious world and then the unconscious world, which is you know, subconscious fear factors from previous experiences. It can be a bit of that too. But I feel this is an energy here of somebody who's really thinking, do I, if, if the other person has wanted to take things to the next level, but you haven't, or it could be vice versa, I feel this is an energy of somebody really reconsidering this. Why don't I just go for it? Why don't I just be spontaneous and go for this? Because, you know, this is, this is, building up to be something significant and long term and we have all these aces the cup of love new beginning or a new beginning you know it can feel this energy of next level getting the clarity that you need to successfully make decisions and choices seeing things clearly now where you hadn't before that allow you to offer love it feels in this energy somebody has been waiting here waiting, assessing, really assessing a situation of whether to take action through a new door. And it feels like next level energy because there's a strong indication of, of things moving really beautifully here um, towards a new beginning. Uh, the Ace of Wands taking action. 
We have the ace of action. We have the ace of love. We have the ace of thought, perspectives, clarity, truth, breakthroughs. So there's a strong indication here, all of those energies. You've been really thinking about something and it feels for a period of time. And this is the energy here. Let's take it to the next level. It feels this energy of, of making something deeper and a greater commitment in love, romance, relationships, home, family. It's just a lovely reading, Aquarius. These three aces are such a blessing. It's a blessed energy. There is absolutely the new opening up for you. It's a lovely energy here and a period of, of waiting and being stuck, but actually doing a lot of, lot of work and a productive way, really building something for your future. And it feels in this energy, there's just this beautiful new beginning opening up for you. It's uplifting. There's joy attached to it. There's love attached to it. There's excitement attached to it. There's passions and desires attached to it. You know, it, it feels lovely. That's what I have for you. And if there's been a reluctance to move things forward relationship wise, I feel somebody has really thought about it. The um, other things, you know, with things like the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups, sometimes pregnancy can be involved or, you know, new additions to the family. So, you know, especially with the Page of Wands, sometimes it can be children, new additions to the family, considering other people and whether, you know, it might well be that there are factors here that are all kind of like coming together that are making somebody consider, actually, why don't I just go for it, spontaneously take action and let's just do it. You know, it feels that kind of energy. Okay, final message for Aquarius, please. Yeah, a temperance kind of energy as well. We have moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say a little bit of you fancy is fine. Here's the thing, we have all this kind of moderate energy, this patient energy, this thinking energy, this not moving forward energy for a quite a significant period of time. And then there's this energy here of let's just do it. Let's take action. Let's go for it. Sometimes I just have to surrender and trust. And all of a sudden things start moving forward and it feels that kind of energy here. Certainly in love areas, it feels that's what's happening. Bottom of the deck, wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.